Hello, my name is Nicole, and thank you so much for taking this time out to listen. Today we are talking about the evil that men and women do. The evil that men and women do. Every day in our media, someone is put on blast for the evil that they do. Even in your family circles, there is someone up to no good. And when we see this consistency of evil that people do, this is a time for much prayer. This is a time also to guard your heart and to guard your wallet. This is also a time for you to think twice about the different groups that you affiliate yourself with or are currently affiliated with. Evil is rampant and there are some seasons where it seems to occur more often. Evil deeds, evil acts, evil communication. Okay, the reason for this is because those that believe in the occult, okay, seeking occult knowledge, wanting the uh, demons to speak to them and so forth. They spend much time doing all sorts of witchcraft, sorcery, uh, you know, you name it to conjure up the spirits and the spirits are not happy ones. They're not uh, nice ones. They are spirits that are about war destruction they're about suiting themselves uh, seeking out justice for their masters they are also the type two that have a boomerang effect if you will that means that when one raises up a certain spirit from the dead or from the cosmos if you will whatever the energy is that has been put out has a way of boomeranging back on the one who has called the spirit OK, I've taken the time out um, to just allow the Lord to move on my spirit for this message, because there are some things that uh, new believers, as well as those who are not considered to be believers, but are just curious about these messages need to know. OK, the weapons of our warfare as a believer are not carnal, but they are spiritual. Therefore, as a believer, we will pray the kinds of prayers to get jobs done and we don't conjure up demonic spirits. OK, so for those who say that they are spiritual, you need to know what type of spiritual are they? Are they Christ centered or are they serving some other God or gods? There are many people who do still serve statues. They serve things that they cannot see, cannot hear, taste, touch, or what have you. There are those who do have some type of connection, um, a paranormal connection, if you will, to their gods. And in the spiritual realm, we do respect one another and one another's faith. At least that's what we're supposed to. But you will have those who are zealous for Christ who will not act respectful. If anything, they will be very disrespectful. And God frowns on that sort of thing because the key is to bring the sheep to the shepherd. Not to fight people because of every little itty bitty thing that they do in the spiritual realm. Especially with seeking out occult knowledge. Okay. Now. The evil that men and women do have a twist because what that twist is, is it always starts out nice and positive and helpful. And it's about doing what's right for humanity and let's establish movements and let's get things done. I mean, many of these people are on fire, at least so they appear to be. But that fire, that passion, that drive eventually turns into more of a demonic fire. And some will even gather around fires, okay, to burn things, to sacrifice things and to raise up all sorts of spirits, okay? And as those embers are burning and the things are taking place on the other side in the spiritual realm, there is also something that is going on within the man or woman who is far into witchcraft and other forms of things than one can imagine. There is a transference of spirits and this is in Hollywood. This is reality and they don't feel like themselves. And then they struggle with all sorts of thoughts and they feel like they're going crazy 
depending on how deep they are into whatever they're doing and the desire for blood and the desire to kill and the desire to hurt someone it increases the more they practice whatever it is that they're into remember now the satanic is not about normalcy over a long period of time no he wants abnormal he wants strange he wants weird he wants crazy he wants to ultimately kill God's creation and just when the master thinks that he has a handle on his demonic spirit or his God or God's or even himself that is when things start tumbling down a man says he is his own God and then it seems like just around the corner all of these negative things start happening to him and he says wait a minute what's going on well if he was in the know he would know that to walk around and say that he is his own God well he has just conjured up Satan to do any number of things because he reports ultimately to the one true God and he says God you see this man right here this woman who claims that he or she is her own God or his own God may I do something with this person can I just show him just how weak he is or how weak she is and so God will at times give permission and if you don't believe that well you need to read Job because Job was a righteous man and God gave Satan permission to do everything but destroy him kill him but everything else around him was destroyed so for those who uh, that seems a little bit far-fetched you need to go to the book of Job and for others who don't believe in demonic possession well you need to look at the scriptures related to Jesus and how he casted out demons and then for those who don't believe, well, you know, this seems crazy that we have to walk around with some kind, some kind of spiritual armor when there are spirits being raised up and all this. Ooh, that seems strange. Well, you need to go over to Ephesians 6, okay? The Bible is not something to be taken lightly. You need to be able to read it and really understand what you are reading and how those scriptures still apply to different people, places, and things to this day. Okay? No matter how much man comes up with new inventions, new ideas, new, new philosophies, new locations, new buildings, whatever, one thing that stays the same, that is constant, is wisdom wisdom that comes from God not from man but if you're not spending time with God the one true God then you are not going to get that everlasting wisdom that timeless knowledge you see instead you will continue continue to walk in darkness and you will continue to be drawn to all sorts of philosophies and religions and ideologies and you name it some that's what they do this year I'm going to be a part of this particular organization and then they find out that that particular organization wants them to do any number of things including being loyal to fellow brothers and sisters even when they are in the wrong even when they may do some things that will put some folks in jail but you know we got to be loyal to the group right demonic entities are out there and demonic entities are moving on men and women to do evil things evil acts despicable stuff and it's only getting worse it's only getting worse you will hear you will see and you will experience the type of evil in unknown proportions in the coming decades I said that plural decades the type of stuff that you would never dream would show up on television screens as I'm seeing in the spirit the types of stuff that are going to show up on new electronic devices with no filtering system and parents are going to be even more lax about what children watch because a lot of the acts are going to involve children and the parents are going to feel that the more knowledge that the children receive when it comes to evil that they will be better prepared for anything that might take place in the future concerning them so therefore parents are going to share more and when they do that sort of thing 
the likelihood of a child growing up to be an evil man or evil woman is pretty good. Okay? It's pretty good. It increases. This sort of thing goes on and on even now, except there's still filtering going on. We've got government groups that are taking care of protecting uh, children and uh, they're trying to keep certain things still out of the mainstream media. But in time, that is going to change and you'll feel like, wow, there's more evil that's more detailed and more graphic than ever before. And I thought that we were in a bad period of violence and, you know, uh, bad language and so forth. But this is crazy. You see, the more people become desensitized to things that are unnatural, that are strange, that are downright mean spirited and ugly the more they will tolerate just about any and everything. And it won't be long before you will see things along the streets and the police will just drive right by because there'll be so much other evil going on in other places that is more pressing that what you see along the street won't necessarily be dealt with. And you'll say to yourself, but I thought it was the police. Uh, I thought it was their job to take care of that sort of thing. I mean, back in the day, they would have done it, but no. No. And so you'll find yourself as a parent taking your hand and covering your child's eyes because you're going to see so much that you've never seen before. The prophetic anointing has moved upon me in this message strongly because there are those individuals who want to know about the future. And part of knowing about the future is looking up the scientific inventions that are currently being created. Uh, things that are peering into what other countries are doing, but also infuriating them as well and causing those folks in other countries to create even more weapons that will kill folk. OK, doesn't matter. Mother, child, grandfather, grandmother. The world is becoming more and more conscious of evil but less conscious of goodness okay thanks to all of the despicable programming the evil stuff that goes on in our own country that other countries are looking at and saying those people are out of their minds over there but when it spreads as fast as it does, then people are saying, wait a minute, there's something going on and maybe we're going to need to do some things to protect ourselves. And this is where people start prepping for war because I'm seeing that they're stealing from that country and I see that they're lying over here and these treaties and contracts seem to be invalid. And what happened to a, a word is a man is 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 uh you know uh, um all that we had to to um believe that a man could say and we'd be okay and no no evil that men and women do tend to backstab betray belittle it does a number of things to divide to conquer to destroy and the more that one accepts evil the more evil he or she becomes as well the husband says oh I don't care that she cusses at me curses at me my wife is full of blah 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 so then she says oh well he's acting this way with me well then a uh, blah 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 and she goes off and now you got two evil people fighting with one another you can understand that on a personal level. Well, understand it on a national level. If you keep coming over into my country, disturbing our my, my atmosphere, my family, our resources and so forth, you leave me with no choice but to defend. And that's what they will do. 
by any means necessary. And it's not always about shooting someone or bombing someone. There's other ways that people do things to send a message loud and clear. And the Internet has been attacked over and over again. And will continue to be attacked. And there will come a point where a lot of things are going to be censored. Yeah, we see something censored. But it's not so bad that it keeps us from getting our work done and so forth. But there will be more of that in the future. Evil has to be contained. And the problem with tapping into evil or evil devices or evil spirits is that man doesn't know how to contain it. God is the author and the finisher of our faith, Christian. And he's also the one who is responsible for containing evil. So it would make sense to go to him. And ask him if he can clean up your household, your community, your state, your country, the world. Is everything going to be dealt with in time? In time. The scripture says that we will experience a peace. But for now, we're nowhere in that season. Instead, we are going to have to fight for our own peace. We're going to have to stand our ground. We're going to have to continue to look at what truth says in all its forms. Not just your personal truth, your family's traditions and so forth. What you read in a book somewhere. But you're going to have to know truth when truth shows up. In the most unlikeliest places through a whistleblower or through some strange sign in the sky or something on the ground as you walk or something in your mailbox or maybe a whisper from a neighbor. And the consequences of delivering that truth will be bloodshed, will be something taken away from someone, will be a sudden relocation or something that makes you feel uncomfortable for a season. But as long as truth prevails, we do what we have to, Christian. Life is given to us. We cannot take it for granted. But evil men and women don't care about lives. They only care about whatever is in front of them and how he or she or it benefits them. Then once... That thing or that person or place or whatever is used up. It is on to the next thing. It is on to the next superstar. It is on to the next album. It is on to the next project. It is on to the next location. I got what I got from you and now I'm going on. You can see this in relationships. Once again, see it nationally, internationally. They're going to take from you people as long as you keep giving them they're going to continue with the old order of things as long as you keep supporting the old order of things they're going to continue saying new order and as long as you're down with the new order more changes are going to be made evil men evil women have hidden agendas they are never transparent and as much as you would love to believe that your favorite politician is telling you the truth, the truth is, is that he or she is telling you a lie. And some of them who have a conscience, they cry at night about the lies that they tell during the day. And others who don't have a conscience, all they want is for you to just listen and obey. Those t-shirts and the mass media's programming and so forth and propaganda wasn't created for nothing. They mean for you to listen and obey. And if you don't, then of course there's consequences. Evil men and women are supportive of torture. They're supportive 
of telling lies, see even their own mothers and fathers, evil men and women do not, I repeat, do not care about the Bible or the people in the church unless they can get something from them and still they don't care much. They go to the church for appearance. They hold a Bible for appearance. Evil men and women will say they will change, but they never will. The woman who has been abused by her husband or the man who has been abused by her, by his wife, they know this firsthand. I promise, baby, I'm going to change. I'm so sorry that I hit you. I'm so sorry that I pushed you. I'm so sorry that I lied to you. I promise I'm not going to cheat on you again. And they do it over and over and over again. See that internationally. See that same concept nationally. They will tell you that I'm going to help the poor and I'm going to do this for your community and I'm going to and then they take it all back or they never start it. Evil men and women. God's justice will be administered. Pray and pray some more for those that are in your household or outside of your household in the surrounding community. Pray for the evil men and women that God's God's spirit will be put upon them in such a great and mighty way that they will change from their evil ways. Pray for your evil loved ones as well, that they will know God before they close their eyes, because if they don't, there is an eternal death for them. Well, enough said on evil men and women. You are welcome to take this moment now to pray. Pray like never before. Also, if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, please do. And I'm Enterprise 7. Check the description box for anything related to your situation. And as always, to God be the glory.